What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 401st edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. It is Wednesday, January 30th, 2019. TSR Live is brought to you in part by Good Vibes CBD Oil. Good Mm. Vibes not only drastically reduces your anxiety symptoms, you will also get some of the best sleep you've ever had. I actually took some CBD oil because I happened to be fighting off another migraine. Um, Anyway, if you want to support the show and to get your hands on the best and most effective CBD oil around, go to DonovanSharp.com. You can buy it through my affiliate link. Use promo code Donovan15 to get a 15% discount. Again, that's Donovan15, Donovan15 to get 15% off. We are also brought to you by Tactical Soap. Tactical Soaps. Pardon me. Tactical soap is a natural pheromone soap that enhances alpha status, masculinity, attractiveness, and charisma. Tactical Mm. soaps are formulated with bioidentical pheromone blends designed to enhance the alpha status added of the alpha male attitudes that women love and men respect. You can buy tactical soap through my affiliate link on DonovanSharp.com. Be sure to use the promo code Donovan to get an additional 10% off. Okay, let's get to it. My guest this evening is one of the best male image and style consultants out there. He's been featured in 405 Magazine. He's been in Splurge Magazine, OKC, as well as the Oklahoma Gazette. He's been on the television show Living Oklahoma, and he's one of the most sought-after image consultants in the country. This guy made his first appearance on TSR Live way back in episode 141. I think you guys all remember that. And it was pretty clear to all of us uh, that he knows his shit. Gentlemen, please welcome Kevin Samuels to TSR Towers. Kevin, thanks for making time for us again tonight, man. We appreciate it. What's going on, fellas? What's going on, Donovan? Not too much, man. Now, you're not here to talk about style and image consulting. We are basically uh we're, we're gonna we're gonna have the 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 same conversation that you and I had mm-hmm. kind of had uh the other day. And this is what you and I are gonna talk about is why is it that a mm-hmm. growing number of grown men, why are they living with day mamas? What is going on with that? Well, you know, and this is something that um, has come up more than since I do, you know, image coaching, life coaching one-on-one with these guys. And what I started to notice is over the last year, I was starting to see more and more guys who were either had their associate's degree or their bachelor's degree, you know, gainfully employed, you know, but in their mid to late twenties, still living at home with, with mama. And it, it, it just started getting to the point where it begged the question. I'm like, what is going on with guys in this failure to launch? Um, I actually did a couple of broadcasts on my YouTube channel addressing it. One that was about two weeks ago. That's epic. If you guys haven't checked it out, I strongly suggest you check it out because uh, I even had guys calling into the show, you know, talking about, you know, I'm in this same position. I uh, had a father call in who uh, basically had to go through this. So here's the thing. It, it's no respecter of race uh, income. It's, but it is definitely, it's definitely a, a millennial thing. And we okay. gotta, we gotta address it because what I'm seeing is so many guys out there are just lost in the sauce. They're just twisting out there and, we try to give guys, you know, input, direction. Um, it's one thing to be out there, but it's another thing to be out there with no plan. Every, shit happens to everybody. Right, of course. Shit happens to everybody. But just being there, you know, there's some standard markers. I always ask what it, what's your relationship like with your dad. Psh, ask you what your plan is. Psh. Then I also noticed that there's a, a substantial, I mean, better than, you know, 70% of them, identify with some version of MGTOW. Oh, um, there it is. There it is. And then there's, a, a, I would say, better than 50% of them are virgins. So I'm like, all right, we got to actually start discussing this, getting it out there, and start uh, having this conversation so guys can start coming into the light to, to get them up and out of this. And I will say this, of the guys I actually work with, um, Almost, well, only almost. let's see. I'm trying to come up with a number. Close to 80% of them are on the way out of the house or out of the house now. Okay, well, that's good. And under and, and under uh, six months. So Okay, good. So good. that's where we're going to kind of go from. Okay, excellent. Um, 
listen, I don't have um I mean, listen, I, I mean, I, I've got a I've got a few reasons as to why I think uh, more men are living with their mothers, I guess. But mm -hmm. it, like, for example, inflation. Right. I think Ryan Sullivan uh, in the chat said the number one reason why men are still living at home, they are living in expensive parts of the country in states like South Dakota. And I think how many people live in South? I think 17 people live in South Dakota. Uh, last I checked, that might be 16 after tonight because i think one person is moving out but in <laughs> in, in yeah. places like south dakota most millennials already own a home while places like new york and la are preventing new apartments being built i don't know about the new apartment preventing new apartments being built i'm not out there anymore but the fact of the matter is is that is that it's it, it seems to be much more expensive for men to move out of their parents' house. I can't, no, I can't really, I, I can't wrap my head. Around. I got, I got, I got to go ahead and push heavily back against. Okay, that. let's do it, man. But listen, that, that was just a hypothesis to me. Dude, that's not an excuse, it, but that's dude, what it, it, it is. It is all across the country. Okay, all right. And again, I started off by saying this: the average guy I'm talking about is making around forty thousand dollars a year. Okay, you when we I'm. When I was when I was 18 years old, you turned 18, you had three options. College, military, or job. But all three Straight of them had to get out of the house. That's right. I'm talking about guys who got out, gone to college, got a degree, and went back and lived with mother. There was a guy, I'm working with a guy who's making $95,000 a year, and he's living at home with mom. It's that not. Is, that is inexcusable. It is not about, it, and so it's not about money for a lot of these guys. What it is, a lot of, a lot of these guys, uh, are basically son boyfriends. Ooh. That's what they are. Son boyfriends. Son boyfriends, sonsbins as well, yeah, right? Cause, cause, we about that. Yeah, because when you ask, well, what does your dad think about it? Inevitably, my dad's not in my life because no man will put up with this shit. Because here's the here's the real deal. People in the chat room can say what they want to. You can go get a fucking job at ONQ or 7-Eleven and go get you a five hundred dollar uh uh studio apartment. This is what you have to do when you're starting out. But a lot of these guys want to move from their parents' home, their mother's home, into this nice home. With the lot, here's what I hear: I'm uh, I'm saving up. I'm saving. I'm I'm paying off debt. Right. I'm saving up to buy. I'm saving up to get a house. Right. And then you know what? I dig three levels deep. One, two, one question and two follow-up questions, and the entire story falls the fuck apart. There, a lot of these dudes just don't want to grow up. Because here's the other side. They're not paying any rent. Yep. At all. That's a sweet deal to live someplace rent free is a sweet deal. And that's something that's very hard for a lot of men, especially millennials to grow out of. So the thing is, if you want to be in that situation, I'm like, okay, at least get ahead of curve. What's your plan? But dude, there is no plan. When I, when I can ask a guy who's 23 years old or 25 years old, how much does, how much is an apartment cost in your area? And they're like, I don't know. They don't even know the steps. <laughs> they don't even know that you know how to do it. Right. I'm like, well, what is the rent like? I'm gonna tell you, some of the guys I've coached with, I've actually had to say, you need to go to a local apartment complex and find out the process. I mean, they don't even know you need to have two and a half times the the monthly rent. They didn't know you needed to go get the utilities turned on. And see, a lot of stuff is, is because they weren't taught by their mothers, and the guys feel shame because you know, by the age of the mid-20s. They would feel silly asking their friends. Well, mama don't want you to leave because I'm going to ask the guy, what's your dad think? Dad, dad isn't there. Say, well, does your mom have a boyfriend? No, mom's been, had had a boyfriend in years. All right. Are you paying mom any rent? No. All right. So you're, you're a son boyfriend. Yes. That's really what it comes into. And yes. the, when the people talk about in New York city, fuck that. That's what the show Friends was about. You get a roommate. Oh, Jesus. Men, men have, people have figured out how to do it up until the millennial generation. It's not like the millennial generation is not, the millennial generation is better off than any generation previous. You got more education, more options. When we came, when I graduated high school, minimum wage was $3.35 an hour. Not everybody went to college. And again, I said most 50% of more of these guys have at least an associate's. Most have a bachelor's. Most are making at least $40,000 a year. No excuse. Nope, I agree. Um, <clears throat> one guy, let me, um, let's see, give me one second here. It's uh, one guy in the chat said something about Denver. 
Ah, uh, so RPG Company says two bedroom in Denver is about fifteen to seventeen hundred dollars a month for nothing special in a cheap area. Can't afford that unless you're making under unless you're making over sixty k. RPG uh, RPG Company, listen, I appreciate your support and I'm glad that you're watching, but this is bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like you're like like I don't know. Like you seem like a smart guy, but these are the kinds of excuses guys are making. So let's go ahead and refute some of these and give me and and, and give me the city right now. I'm looking. On Denver Craigslist right now, huge freaking house, utilities included, mm -hmm. seven fifty seven fifty a month. Let me let me say let me let me say something about that fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, he dude. said two bedroom, dude. Two okay, bedroom. hold on. Even if it's fifteen hundred dollars, he said you need sixty thousand. That's bullshit. Two and a half times the rent, there which you go. is forty seven thousand five hundred dollars. There you go. See, that's what I mean. Guys don't even realize this is how far guys are. They don't even understand what you need. It's two and a half times the rent in almost in one of the 50 states. So what it is, is you can't live like you were living in mommy and daddy's there you house. Go. That's you, it. Got, you got to get Ikea furniture. You got to get an air mattress. You got to work and build your way up. But these guys want to go from living middle they wanna class. Make, they want to make a lateral move or they want to listen. And, and here's the problem, Kevin. Here's the mm -hmm. problem. And again, listen, I'm not trying to be hard on you guys, but listen, you guys, you guys watch the show because we keep it all the way real. Facts don't give a fuck about your feelings. I love you guys, but this is going to be some tough love. Here's the deal. When when people come at me with, hey, by the way, a two or three or a two bedroom apartment in XYZ city is fifteen hundred to seventeen hundred dollars a month. You can't afford it unless you're making over seventy five seventy five thousand seventy five thousand dollar. That is female logic. And here's mm -hmm. why. Females never want to make it as far as as far as females are concerned with dating, they will never date down. Okay. They right. will either date laterally or they will date up, right? This is just the way females are. That's female logic. And yep. in the dating market, that's not a bad thing. We want females to date up. We want them to fuck up. We want them to marry up. This is how we form good relationships and right. you know, all this other kind of stuff. But dating is not the apartment game. Dating is not moving out of your mama's apartment. A lot of you guys out there, just like Kevin said, you want to live like you did with your mom. You want to mm -hmm. live like you did with your parents. Your parents were responsible. Your parents are so responsible. They had the money and the room in their place to let you live with them until they were 28 years old. Chances are that's a pretty nice place. So you expect that when you get out on your own, you're going to start off on the same levels or uh, same level as your parents. Newsflash, your parents didn't start off where they are now. They had to start off in a rundown two bedroom apartment in a bad part of town. They had to start somewhere and work their way up. The problem is a lot of guys who live at home with mom don't understand that they got to start small. So let me go to Craigslist Denver again. Huge freaking house, utilities included, $750. Weekly and monthly rates for singles. Furnished, mm -hmm. clean, 420 I guess that's for weed. That is $225 per month. There's a room for rent, $650 per month. Right. Now, a lot of, see, and a lot of guys, oh, man, I can't rent a room. Dude, you're living in a room at your mom's and mom and dad's place. Well, I don't want to share a bathroom. Well, a lot of rooms have the private bathrooms, what? and you're sharing a bathroom at your mom's place anyway. You can't be picky, guys. you got to start somewhere. You, you don't, um, unless you're a guy like Bryce Harper, you don't get drafted by the Washington Nationals, and then all of a sudden, you're playing with the big squad. No, you got to go single A, double A, triple A, and then the majors nobody hits nobody goes from zero to a hundred overnight it doesn't work that way well and then see the, the difference is we were chomping at the bit to get out and get into life right you could you had to hold us back these guys had to launch well i don't want who gives a shit what you want because i asked the guys all these questions if your mom were to be involved in a fatal accident today what would what would you do? And most of them are just like, Jesus, I don't know. I'm like, life is like that. You're not, you're not making any forward progress. So here's 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 what I say. Then you don't need to worry about any parts of pussy, any parts of dating, any parts of anything, because no quality woman is going to go fuck you in your mama's house. There you go. That's and right. You complain that man i don't have confidence i don't i don't know how to approach them because you don't have any because because you know you're living bullshit you know you're living but you know you're living delayed so you don't even have the confidence to say even if i could walk up to this 10 and could spit the magic uh formula where am i going to take her to fuck her? right what are you going to do are they going to do the donovan sharp airbnb game that i dropped a while back it's it, listen it that's only going to work 
for so long. And guys, listen, this is going to be a very informative, hopefully a wake up call to a lot of guys. Look at this. Shit listen, right here. Hold on. Hold on one second. Check this out, guys. I want you guys to hit us with the objections, man. Like this is this. I'm going to treat this like a sales call. Okay. Mm -hmm. You hit us with the objections. We're going to, uh, we're going to overcome those objections. Uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin Mitchell. I'm thinking old yeah, you, Kevin you Mitchell from the Kyle Mitchell says paying down debt is a reasonable, if you have student loans accruing debt negative, that, yeah, that is yeah. absolutely 100% incorrect. Your dude paying off your student loans doesn't break you and your student loan payments are based on what you make. And, and dude, not only that, you can defer your student loans almost indefinitely. This is why we got people in their fifties and sixties still paying off their student loans because they kept deferring their student loans. So right. when people give me the excuse, Hey, I have student loans. I got to live with my mom and dad. That's bullshit. You're using that as an excuse to not give up the, listen, living with you, living with your parents and not having to pay rent. If you're making mm -hmm. decent money, that's a sweet fucking deal. But there, is a, but there is a price to be paid and that is your absolute freedom and that's your value as a man. So if you're using, you know, student loans as an excuse to stay with your, to stay with your parents, I think everybody knows, including the person that makes that uh, particular assertion. I think they know that's bullshit. Kyle, I know you're probably talking about somebody else. You don't really strike me. To watch or listen to the rest of this episode, go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching.